I think we can all agree that music is a very important element within a film, documentary, commercial video, or any other visual. Even when looking at a painting, it seems as our ears like to be part of the experience too. But using music has to be handled with care. It's so powerful that it can set one image into different moods. And that's why it's very important to first define the feeling or the atmosphere you'd like to create and then look for music that is able to erode that. If you follow our channel, you know that Premium Beat is our supporter. It's a website where you can search and license music for your film projects. Now, I've made a short one minute portrait about myself. We'll first have a look at that and then see how I've designed the music for it. Enjoy. Sometimes you forget about the past, but you'll always keep your memories. A simple connection makes you remember who you were, what inspired you, what left its marks, and created who you are today. New stories take place. And others fade away. But it's always a turn in the same book. I'm on the Premium Beat website and I'd like to show you guys how I look for my music that goes together with my film projects. You can start by entering keywords in here that you think goes well together with your film. Like in my case, that was uh, nostalgic, sentimental, uh, emotions, memories, and so on. But what I typically like to do is search by mood. And I'm going to click on that. That will bring me to the most popular moods, but I'm going to click here on see all the moods so that I have a full selection that I can choose from. And down below here, I can find nostalgic, which goes great together with my film. So I'm just going to click on that and that will bring me already to a selection of many songs. I mean, Premium Beat really has a very large library. So what I typically like to do next is go into the advanced filters and specify my selection even more. And we can do that by selecting a particular jar because there are many things like here, we've got electronic and dance. That is definitely something that does not go together with my film. So I'm going to scroll down here some more and I can find here film scores and we have human drama. It's a personal story, so I believe I can find my song in here. Then furthermore, you can select more jars if you like. So also select a particular instrument and so on. But let's say that you have specified your selection. We can then start by listening to these songs. And let's just play any of these. Now, very important is that you do not pick the first best choice. Premium Beat has a great option to put any of your songs that you think goes well with your film into a favorites list. So just click here on this little heart icon to like that song. You can like multiple songs. And once I've done that, I go to my account here and select favorites. And then right in here, you can find the selection that you've made. And very often I find that some songs that I first thought were great are now not that great anymore when I compare them to the entire selection that I've made in here. Then you can just deselect them and keep on filtering until you find the song that goes great together with your film. And what I suggest as well is to first try it out with your edits. You can always download a preview right here, click on that button and uh, then just click on download the full track and it will download. And you can import that into your favorite video editor program like Premiere and start making your edits kind of on that preview track. And if you believe that the magic happened, then you can purchase that track, of course. Now, one of the greatest things about Premium Beat is that they also offer loop sets. Now, these are sections within the song that have different kinds of atmospheres and instruments. But since you're working in the same song, they will always have the exact same rhythm or the beats per minute. And that allows you to kind of compose your own unique track. And that is what I want to show you guys inside 
Premiere Pro. So let's dive into that. Right here is the edit of my self-portrait film. We have the voiceover and some sound effects here on top, but I want to focus here on these tracks. They do not look like a common music track, and that's because these are those loops. This is the music that I use to edit my film. Once you purchase your track, of course, you'll have access to all of these loops right here. As you can see, we also have several short versions and of course the full track. Now let me show you what exactly we can do with these loops. I'm going to scroll a bit more to the right side here because here I can show you what they are capable of. And I'm going to start with the first example. This is the first loop, the beginning of the song and see how they match great by just putting them next to each other. That goes perfect and that is the whole entire meaning of working with these loops. Now because there's this synthesizer I believe which is kind of coming in here in this loop we do hear a drop here when that same loop starts again. So even though that they seamlessly go together we are still kind of hearing that the music is going into a loop. But there's a very easy technique to kind of stretch this intro without hearing that the music is being repeated and that is for the next example right here. As you can hear the music has a certain beat. It starts with a piano beat and right here we've got a next piano beat then right here we've got one more and finally the last piano beat right here. Now we can always align these piano beats on each other and they don't have to be on the exact same spot like this. No, we can actually match the first beat of that loop with the last beat of that same loop. And by doing that together with a small transition, you will hear that it seems like this music keeps on going. Now we really have a seamless transition. And we can keep on doing this and make an intro as long as we want. Let's have a look at the third use of loops. Now I'm using two different loops. You can also see that at the waveform. I'm just placing them next to each other. This is the first loop that we've also heard already. And right here is a more heavier loop with some more instruments. And this is perfect to introduce a new kind of trigger, something new has happened in your scene. But because of these loops, we can kind of create it in that way that we can choose where that new beat has to start. If that new beat has to start somewhere right here, just move that second loop to the last beat of that first loop and that will also match perfectly. As you can hear, just make sure that you are always on that beat. Now let's have a look at the last example and then we'll see how I've actually designed the music for my short. We have three kinds of loops here on top of each other. The first one was the one that we've already heard in the beginning. Then we've got one with some more instruments and a third one with even more instruments. Now if you are going to lay them all on top of each other, you'll see that these beats come back in all of these loops. So that means we can kind of create a very short buildup. I'm going to stand on the first beats right here and we want the second loop to already start here. So I'm just going to trim that and overwrite that with the first loop. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the second beat and that is right here. Also trim the third loop and overwrite that with the first one. Now because there are new instruments in these loops, I do suggest to always add a transition between them so that we kind of fade in the new instruments here. So also for the next cut here like that. And let's play this right now and you'll see that it kind of matches all together perfectly. And that is the power of working with these loops. Now let's go back to the film project because I want to show you guys how I've actually designed the music in here. I'm going to solo out the tracks just for a moment here so that we're not distracted by the voiceover nor the sound effects. And at the beginning it's just me cleaning up the garage. I didn't want it to have any music in here because there's no reason to add music in this first part. It's just me cleaning up the garage and that's it. But it's at this point right here where I've chosen to let the music start. It's a trigger because something is changing here. I'm seeing my skateboard again. Something I haven't touched for 15 years and I'm smiling. I'm changing my emotional state. So that's a perfect trigger to let the music start. I'm grabbing the skateboard and I'm staying within that first loop because I'm just thinking about the past. I'm thinking about my skateboard. 
And then here in the second scene, I decide to bring up those memories again by touching the skateboard. And that's also the reason why I'm introducing a new loop of that music on that point. Let's have a listen. There's some new instruments that are coming in here. I'm also showing archive videos. And yes, that's me with my shorties hat. But this scene kind of goes on for a while. So that's also the reason why I'm kind of stretching out that loop. And I'm using the exact same technique here as I was showing here in the example. These are the two same loops and I'm connecting them in this way so that you don't hear that the music is being repeated. I have aligned that first beat somewhere in the middle together with a beat as well from that same loop. And we can't hear that I'm stretching this loop, but it does make it possible that I can choose where the music has to start and where it has to change. So in this section right here, I'm just thinking about the past. I'm bringing up those memories again. And right here, I'm introducing a new loop. There are more instruments here. I'm building up the music. And that's because at this point, I decided to stand back on my skateboard like I did in the past. And I'm going to try a kickflip here again. Also here, I'm stretching that loop again, as you can see. And here I'm doing that awesome kickflip. Still got it in me. And here the music fades away. I'm using the very first loop again that I was using in the beginning. And this was a very conscious choice because if you look at me standing here in the garage, I'm holding my skateboard again, just looking at it, thinking about the memories. Now let's have a look back at that first scene where I was using that same loop. Also here, I was just standing in the garage, holding my board, thinking about the past. So I'm not only ending the film with the same music, but also with the same visual. And that wraps up the story. And finally, I end with this last beat that I can edit on a fade out. And that last beat was coming from the full track. So definitely have a listen in there as well. Not only play with your loops, but also have a listen at the full track, because only in here I found that last piano hit and it's fading out. To recap this video, here are the things you need to pay attention to when adding music to your film projects. When searching for music, make sure it's in line with the right mood and feeling of your film. Premium Beat search engine can help you with that. Second, don't let music take control over your video. You are the editor, and that means you choose where the music has to start and where it has to change. This is quite easy if you're using loops. And finally, if you're making your own track with these loops, pay attention to the structure and the buildup of your music. Just like a story, your music track should also have a beginning, middle and ending. Make sure to check out Premium Beats, there's a link in the description below. I hope you've learned something new today and also enjoyed me standing on the skateboard again after 15 years. And thank you so much for watching and never let go of your positive memories.